I wanted to show you uh, this Sora, which is the new chat GTP um, for images and videos. Um, and the videos are incredible. And obviously, I just have a $20 a month paid subscription of um, chat GPT. So this is Sora. And I'm going to start, these are the videos. I'm going to start by, um, that other people created, by showing you uh, back in November when I started using ChatGPT and I was creating images, you know, I would upload an image. I say, turn this photo into a Christmas themed character using facial, you know, you know, something. And I would get something like, oh, it was, it's kind of like it, right? But it's, it has two people, but they don't look anything like it. So then I learned how to create these, these incredible prompts, these detailed prompts <clears throat> where you have to you know, say, oh, the green eyes, you know, what to the facial descriptions. And then later I learned, uh, I created a video with the Star Wars characters, uh, creating Star Wars characters. Uh, and, you know, I, I learned that, oh, well, you need to give the, um, the picture and then you need to have it uh, describe what the facial details of the people are so that you get something more similar. Right, more similar, but once again, this isn't this doesn't look like the people in the picture uh, that much. <clears throat> so now, um, just last week, uh, this is uh, March 2025, or this is April 2025, but it was March 2025 last week. They updated um, uh, Chat GPT 4.0 that has these great details, and that you could use it for free. Like you can get three free images if you don't have a subscription. But if you have a subscription, they added this little guy Sora. And that's what this is. So Sora is uh, is is images and video production uh, created by ChatGPT. These are great. These are great things. And something something that I love the most about this is you can you can. This is all made, created by other people, right? These are all images and and videos created by other people. And when you see something, you're like, wow, that's really cool. Like like this is really cool. You can um, you can click on it. So let's do this guy. Uh, you click on it. You say, "Wow, this is really cool." And you can edit this prompt, or you could hit remix. Now remix just says everything in here stays the same, except you're going to change something. And then you could just hit create a video of this image to show it moving and and putting text just like you do anywhere else. So this is the person's prompt that they wrote. Uh, Craig Fern pull out and Polaroid photo. Okay, so now I hit remix, right? And I can upload a picture of myself. All right, let's do this real quick. Remember what that looks like? Bad. <clears throat> and I could <can> say, <clears throat> please change. Oops image so you can write anything you can write something as simple as change this image i'm going to just change this image this this photo it doesn't have to be this detail i'm overthinking it into into the same style okay so i uploaded a photo i said please change this photo into the same style you could say uh something as simple as um change the face of the guy coming out of the thing to look like this guy's fame. So let's hit remix, and this is gonna take some time. Let's add it to the queue. So now as that's entering, so you saw I just I just looked at somebody else's, um, somebody else's uh, artwork that they created here in, in Sora, right? And I, and I added my own touch to it. So you could do that with any of this stuff. And I'll show you, I just did this with this one here. So, this one here, I said, you know, same same type of prompt. So I'll show you uh, what happens. So then I go to my media. This is the stuff I created. And this was that little fox guy. All right. So you see here, here's the little fox guy. Uh, and then here's my image. And then this is what I created. You know, and look at the text. It's It's awesome. Like these old... These old style ones, like it's spouse instead of space or pace. The text was really bad in the old uh, Dolly uh, or, or other versions of ChatGPT. 
it, it, you get it right sometimes, but most of the time, if you wanted to create artwork, I would take this and I'd put it in Photoshop and I'd just change the letters so that it was, it was proper. So it looked right. But here, uh, it, it takes what was in my shirt, you know, this is what was in my shirt, Niska, and it puts it in here, innovate, educate, and the text is awesome. It's awesome translation. That's just one case. Now, I'm going to show you here all the cool stuff that I was able to make with, with that picture. So here was the first thing I did. I was using ChatGPT 4.0 when it first for 4.0 when it first uh, changed. And then I saw the Sorba. I was like, I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that was there for like a week or a couple of days until I saw a YouTube video on it. So I upload my picture, right? And it says, can you change the photograph into a Pixar style image? Look at how, how awesome this is. So this is almost exactly, right? This is almost exactly with the shirt and everything, right? And, you know, I said, instead of the suit jacket, uh, put this and you could add transparent backgrounds. So I could take this little guy as a GIF, uh, or a ping, and I could put it into other images, which I did do for my LinkedIn. So I'll show you LinkedIn. So my LinkedIn account, you can see, I took that little guy and this is a, a national science foundation image, background image of the year type thing. And you see that it created it with a transparent background. So I just went into flash cause that's the, that's what I like to use. I use Photoshop and I use Adobe uh, flash, Adobe animate, which used to be Macromedia flash, same, same exact program. Just, just uh, change the name of it. And I laid down this image and the layer and I laid this image over it. And then I had it cut to the LinkedIn banner uh, with dimensions and, and look at how cool that looks. You know, you put that in there. This is also, this is an old, uh, and I generated a uh, profile picture of me headshot because uh, it looks better than I, I really look in real life. So uh, let's go back here. So now that you see this, I'm going to show you all these crazy styles. So this is just me working with that character, uh, changing the text. And I never got anything better than what was the original picture. So then I go back and I'm like, oh, raise the, raise your arms. Okay. So it added glasses for some reason. And then, um, and then I changed it to a, a green screen background because, uh, when I do the video production using camps, Camtasia studio, I could animate these and lip sync them and have the green screen removed. And once again, have a transparent background to have like a, a game show stage. Like if you saw my videos on the, um, science showdown game show. And then these are also, um, same thing picture of a group of people so you can see oh go on that this is the original picture and then this is the um this is the caricature artist uh caricature of the same people and they're like oh you're at the final four with uh auburn versus florida so i made a bunch of images like that with just any picture and then um then we have, you know, claymation style, and then all these different um, flash web animation, uh, superhero comics, uh, minimalist comics, Cartoon Network 2000s. These are all different styles. So I asked ChatGPT for, I'm like, oh, give me styles of uh, faint, uh, popular styles of cartoon characters or give me popular um, styles of um, toys, any of that stuff, right? Golden Age uh, comic book. Marvel Age comic book, uh, Bronze Age, right? Uh, and this is cool. I like this feature too. So these pictures, right? So here's the original picture, right? And then I say, here's a background that I want. Because here I am. Uh, this is a picture of me and my wife in our kitchen, you know, uh, celebrating Auburn's basketball wins. And here is a picture of Toomer's Corner in Auburn, Alabama with the toilet paper. And, you know, I say, oh, can you take the photograph of the two people and then change the background? So here you go. And it modifies. Like, see, like this didn't come out right, right? It modifies a little bit of the face. It modifies a little bit of the text, but this came out great. But this is, it looks like I'm standing on a, a green screen, right? <clears throat> but even cooler, then we take, uh, we take this and I'm like, oh, let's do three things here. So here is, um, the picture here is Abby, the Auburn tiger mascot. And here's the background. And I say, Hey, can you take this photo? The two people add the tiger mascot, 
and then uh, make the background uh, of Tumor's Corner. So here you had this picture of Avi the tiger, and he even had a little like uh, sweatband on, all the rest of it. But he made it. So this looks back here. Yeah, that looks like a green screen. But to me, this and obviously there's the distortion. You know, it's not perfect, but. Uh, this looks like it's a real, like the three of us were actually together in this picture, the way they, they superimpose it and change it. So that was really cool. So that's a great, great way to use Sora to create some artwork. So I'm going to keep scrolling here. All right, so then you could change it into Muppet characters. And then I changed my original image into um, a Muppet. And uh, South Park, uh, Lego, uh, The Simpsons. I use a, I said you could say Lego people, but I said the Lego Movie. I thought that was kind of neat. Um, Team America. Uh, this I had some problems with this for some reason, but here is um, Steamboat Willie cartoon. Uh, so Picasso, Picasso, Picasso. Uh, you can change that original picture into a children's television puppet show, uh, or you can change it into the style of the Muppets. And once again, the text looks awesome on these. And everything looks awesome on these, especially like if you change it. So like <clears throat> if you have a real picture, it distorts it. But if you have these silly pictures, uh, everything looks great. Here's the Muppets more, but it has, this is a different picture. Uh, and this the realism, it, it changed the people all together. But, but if you go ahead and put these in as claymation or as Pixar uh, or as puppets, it all starts looking good. All right, so we have Van Gogh style. Uh, we have... Um, Keith Herring style. Once again, the te text is awesome. Uh, Mondrian style. These are all different artists. Uh, film noir style. Uh, Renaissance artist Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, we have Andy Warhol. Uh, Manja. Oh, this is great. So this is this is what I was saying before uh, I was showing you. So I saw they had uh, people who created these toys and action figures in a toy box. So I started creating that. So I have AI science guy action figure. Oops. Uh, change that. Uh, here's all different. I'm going to go down a little bit. So here's... Uh, if you ever watched Ferris Bueller, the day off when they went to Chicago uh, Museum of Art, you might know that painting. Uh, here's different action figures. So now I just worked with the words. So it was the same prompt that I found, just like I showed you earlier. I found this on the Explorer. And I was like, that's cool. And then I put my picture into it. And then I just worked with it with text. But it was, it's so much easier. Like this is like a Star Wars action figure. Uh, this is uh, different guys. Uh, this is different, just different boxes, different types of um, toy figurines. Uh, this is uh, like rubber hose style cartoon, Rick and Morty style, Dragon Ball Z, <clears throat> that one, Claudio with Chance, uh, Bernini, uh, Cyberpunk, that's pretty cool, uh, Will Wallace and Gromit style, uh, retro futurism style. Uh, this is this is cool artwork. Once again, yeah, the text is still cool on these things. Uh, but this is a silly. Let's see, these are different people. Team Fortress, uh, pixel art style like an old video game, uh, Minecraft style, uh, like a crayon drawing. All right, this is a crayon drawing. This is uh, different artists. Different artists. We got. Uh, let's see. Go with this to do uh, different artists. These are cool. Oh, Dolly, that's that one's cool. I think this one's really cool. This Dolly image. Um, Klimt, uh, Goya, uh, different artists, uh, different artists, sketch, pencil sketch, color pencil sketch, uh, family guy, uh, pop art, uh, comic book style. Minimalist lines, uh, impressionist style, surrealist style, uh, realism style, cubism style, uh, abstract expression style, vintage cartoon style, gothic art, uh, Thomas Nass illustration. Oh, this is like Mad Magazine caricature art, uh, water uh, watercolor paint caricature art. Watercolor painting, uh, crayons by, uh, created by a five-year-old. All right, a crayon drawing created by a five-year-old. That's pretty cool. And uh, they get the words. So they do a good job with the text, those five-year-olds. Uh, 
Thomas Nass Color, uh, Day of the Dead, uh, Frida Kahlo, those are cool. Uh, Jam Band, Science, Nice Cat Infinite. Uh, oh, and then this is uh, uh, Funko Pop uh, in a box. That's cool. Um, and this, this really, like, I already had the idea for it. So all I did was, uh, let's see, click on it. All I did was uh, take this guy and said, can you change the style of a Funko Pop? And they have it labeled AI Science Guy and have a science theme. All right. Uh, more Grateful Dead. Uh, uh, baseball card. Uh, beer labels. Uh, you'll see a Nike ads. These are little dioramas over here. Um, your phone is calling. Uh, figurine guy. Uh, that's still those dioramas working with it. So we have uh, Tesla, Einstein, Ben Franklin, uh, Copernicus, uh, um, Sir Isaac Newton. So we have different scientists there. There's another toy. Same, still working with it. Uh, this is Futurama, still working with that, still working with that. Star Wars Rebels, Star Wars Clone Wars, uh, Johnny Quest, uh, the Spider-Man 1994 TV series, Dexter's Lab, Gravity Falls, uh, Pokemon, uh, Star Wars figurine, uh, Cyberpunk, here's that just Nike Just Do It ad, Just Do Science, uh, Playmobil people, Fisher Price people, uh, Studio Ghibli, uh, Kawhi style. Uh, that was that fox I showed you. And then this is this is the one I just said. You know, I just did a simple prompt of you know. So we have me coming out of the picture. Now I could work directly with. Uh, so this is the one I started with. It. Uh, let's see, change. So this was the original image. And then this, but I can work with that so that I can get rid of that background so it looks more like just that. But I, I put in simple, like it, you just write text, you just do simple text. Um, so sometimes you look at this and I can go back and say, oh, now just change the words. Or I could just change this one and hit remix. And I could say something like <clears throat> uh, remove the real picture, the real photo. Yeah, pick photo, the real guy, the real person in the background. And then I hit remix. Once again, it's going to come up here to the queue. It only takes, it only takes a few seconds, it's maybe a minute at most for each of these. Um, and, and then you'll see, I should, I should have this with just the card, like, like the original one was. So that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, you go ahead, go have some fun and play around because this stuff is really, really cool. It blows Photoshop away. I remember when I first started working with a Photoshop back in uh, early 2000s, and I was amazed by all the things I could do to transform a photograph using filters. But uh, this is this is just next level stuff. It's just insane. And like I said before, these videos, um, I don't have access to make the videos right now. But these videos are insane. There was one of a black hole that somebody created. And it's just, I mean, look at these, look at these videos. These are just simply, let's see, look in here. It's just, it could be pictures, but this is just a text a text prompt. This is in uh, Espanol, so I'd have to convert that into English to figure out what it says. But, uh, but I could, I could, uh, I could add things to it. This koi pond, just beautiful images. People, oh, this this is cool. This uh, this has a, a little bit of a, a bleed to it. It's gonna it loops. So watch watch this as the chickens dancing. All right, as they dance, this is this is something that always happens with AI if you have too much motion going on. But that's that's pretty cool how these chickens uh, act as chickens and act as uh, dancers there. All right, really cool stuff. Really cool stuff.